when you talk about loving, when you talk about caring about people, listen, you're looking at a 42% suicide rate, you're looking at bone problems, you're looking at mood problems, you're looking at huge rates of depression and schizophrenia, like just telling someone that they're perfect the way they are is not compassion. If a kid wants to be put on puberty blockers, you say no, why? Because your bone plates haven't fused yet. But I don't want some lady in the white jacket to come in here and take you away from me, so here's your estrogen pills, there you go. Want some Cialis? All right, it's a treat <laughs> yeah, for everybody. <laughs> Oh. Anyone here Taylor Swift fans? <laughs> no. Yes. No. Really? Are yeah. you? Yeah. I used to be a Taylor oh, no. Swift fan. Uh, but this is something we're going to talk about the Equality Act here. But let's set this up. Taylor Swift, she had this VMA performance acceptance speech where she promoted the Equality Act and uh, then called out the White House for not responding to her petition. Here's the speech. At the end of this video, there was a petition, and there still is a petition. There's four Woo! dudes up there. <laughs> for the Equality well, one Act. One of them is Basically Dennis Rodman. <laughs> and I want to thank everyone who signed that petition because it now has half a million signatures, which which oh, is getting cocky. She's gaining confidence. Oh. Which is five times the amount that it would need to warrant a response from the White House. Ooh, look, she's got a little lilt there. Got a little snap. lilt. Snap, snap. Guess what? That would mean anything if. Uh, Everything that she just said was not factually <laughs> incorrect. So it brings us to this week's What a Piece of <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about... It's always a short, love people get intro. jarred if you're listening on it. audio, sorry. But we're going to get to the Equality Act. But th this whole speech, let me do this, just rattle this off. First, Miss Swift, you're not actually wearing a watch, right? So when she does the looking at the watch, I understand you're trying to be, funny. that's go. like a four-year-old. Just you, you, This was obviously premeditated, put on a watch. Second, the White House only has to respond if you submit a petition through whitehouse.gov. Yours was a change.org petition. And you didn't even address it to the White House, you addressed it to the Senate, sweetheart. And by the way, even though we know that you've ditched all of your people and teardrops on your guitar and you're going for the pop world now to hang out with people like Lena Dunham, you didn't have to throw your dad under the bus and have him delete all of his social media just because he happens to be a Republican. Piece of <laughs> shit move. And by the way, you're a cute girl. How much makeup you're wearing these days? You're looking more and more like a tranny. And by the way, don't take my word for it. John Travolta was clearly confused. Oh, 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 what? What? Oh, 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 oh. And he sleeps with a lot of trannies. <laughs> And do you, you always know. have to act, Taylor Swift, do you, we're gonna get to the equality, but you always have to act like you're surprised every time you win an award. This is like, yeah. what, your 42nd award? It's not a Grammy, oh, oh, it's me? an MTV award for a music video, which is the most played, most popular video of the year. What? Ah, 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 yeah. what? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't know, but you know what? I do have a petition that has more than five times. Shut up, Taylor Swift! <laughs> this sounds Sound good, quick. the Equality yeah. Act, just like, Pro-choice, sounds good. Uh -huh. The Green New Deal, actually that doesn't even really sound good. That does sound a little bit authoritarian. You know, you plan to see people doing a goose step when it's the New Deal, but you know, I get it. The point is, this sounds good. And she said, the, bi the bill basically means that everyone gets treated equally. No, no. Let me get into the Equality Act and why it's uh, incredibly dangerous and corrosive, okay? The bill prohibits, to quote it exactly, discrimination on the basis of sex, gender, identity, and sexual orientation. Okay, I understand discrimination based on sex. I understand sexual orientation, get it. Key takeaway here though is gender identity. Mm. It's not defined at all in right. any real yeah. way when you look at the bill. So someone can just identify as a woman and federal law demands that everyone treat them that way. That's a problem. By the way, it's not as though there isn't any precedent for this because we can see some complications. So how would allowing anyone to identify however they want potentially be a problem? In other words, why would anyone be opposed to the Equality Act? No one's opposed to equality. That's not what we're talking about. So let's start with this. One reason, women's sports. We've already covered how transgenderism, destroying women's sports. Yeah. You have male to female transgender athletes winning world cycling championships. Win and people say, well, that's an isolated incident. No, winning national championships in weightlifting. Smashing four powerlifting world records in a day. And by the way, a biological male is now the number one ranked NCAA women's track star. Uh, Trans athletics, where men get everything and women get consistent beatings. It's the Islam of sports. Also, <laughs> in a recent meet, this is important to note, uh, said transgender, was first, ranked first nationally, and in uh -huh. a meet, someone placed second, respectively, was also a transgender. For the record, the race included exactly two transgender competitors. <laughs> How many? Two. Where were they ranked? Number one and two. Oh, wow. 
That's harsh. Gosh. Men just have an unbelievable advantage. Testosterone, we've gone through this higher bone density, greater lung capacity, higher ratio of fast twitch muscle fibers, but we're gonna have to throw this out because someone wrote a college thesis. Yeah. <laughs> and Taylor Swift has an imaginary watch. <laughs> and this is something important to note. People say, well, we're gonna deal with sports when we get there. And this is something, and I would like your opinion here on, on this bill, but they say, we, we can make a provision for sports. Actually, no, you can't. If it's the law, sports have to follow the law. Now they can add to it in certain ways. For example, like the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Uh, you see this a lot with UFC when they had this whole testosterone issue going on. It's legal. People can procure testosterone, but the sports organization can say, all right, we don't wanna use that because of an unfair advantage. But if a law specifically says you cannot prohibit in any way someone who's on testosterone, testosterone, they can't do it. It's not left open-ended here. That's the challenge that I, I see. I mean, one, one of the, it's, it's again, when you get into the actual practical application of, we've talked about this in the First Amendment, if you actually put a definition of hate speech and then you try to apply it, it falls apart immediately in, in almost every example. And right. It's the same way with trying to define gender identity and say, it's not just the whatever, it's the whenever, right? So someone can say, well, I am, you know, of the 97,000 different versions apparently that exist in gender identity, I'm yeah. going to cycle through through them like t-shirts every single day the rest of the world catch up and if you don't it's a crime right right it's it, you're liable civilly to have to pay money or fines or maybe even go to jail or, or all those types of things at the very least to be pilloried in social media if you can't actually keep up with the changing fluid gender identities and that's a problem and in the same way when you talk about discriminating against folks in a certain way you have to be able to define what the discrimination is right and when one of the biggest proponents of it taylor swift can't even define it i'm loving the music but stick to it yeah don't try and go to the law you just think i should shut up and sing <laughs> pretty much pretty much yeah so you just think you don't want to hear my political opinions yeah you know let's go with that <laughs> <laughs> yes that's not what that's not why you were hired that's not why you're here we don't really care we don't really want to hear them and by the way you're wrong i mean is it discrimination to say you know what you can't do the hormones what but that's what helps me compete. My point exactly. <laughs> By the way, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed because apparently subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. New video every day. Just bookmark the page, check in. And of course, we have hours and hours of content at uh, yeah. Mug Club. If you join up, uh, lotofcredit.com slash Mug Club. And there's the Crowder Bits channel on YouTube. There if you want to see clips and you want to be able to stuff. search them pretty quickly. Another reason here too, uh, when we talk about the equality bill, women's only spaces. This is something that has turned a lot of feminists against others. So, you know, it's, it's turned l lesbian angry sister against blue haired pseudo lesbian <laughs> sister. And that's sad. Um, <laughs> the bill, sad. The let me read from mm, the bill. Sad. With respect to gender identity, an individual shall not be denied access to a shared facility, including a restroom, a locker room, and a dressing room. That is in accordance with the individual's gender identity, which again is not defined. Even without yeah. laws like this, there have been tons of cases of sexual assault, rape, when male to female transgenders have been allowed to go into women's only spaces. But I'm not saying that always happens, that every transgender is a sexual predator. But most recently, we had Jessica Yaniv, who used these protections yeah. in Canada to try and gain access to underage nude girls. And was still championed. Trying. Yeah, still, still trying. trying to do still it. Still trying. And this is important because it's not based in science at all. Gender is really, it's, it's really more grammatical. How it was. We've talked about this before. Simone de Beauvoir, you go to the John Money study, right? You get to Judith Butler. It, it, they, this is a very new idea. Even people who believe that gender was socially constructed and separate from sex, they still only believed in two genders. And this is not scientifically based. It was never proven. It's just theory. It was theory that was supposed to be talked about in college because it didn't really matter, have real world consequences, like most things that are talked about in humanities courses. And then for some reason, people weren't in on the gag, like, let's just open up the floodgates. And even the professors themselves were like, what? No, it was a goof. <laughs> It was a goof. So here's another reason, by the way, with this bill, they're going to be targeting religious organizations, business owners. The Equality Act prohibits uh, against any kind of discrimination, as they put it, against LGBTQ AAIP people from the bill. Any establishment that provides a good, a service, a program, including a store, shopping center, online retailer, or service provider, salon, we'll get back to that, yeah. bank, gas station, food bank, service, or care center, shelter, travel agency, funeral parlor, or establishment that provides health care, accounting, or legal services. They mentioned salon in there clearly because... Because Jessica Yaniv was trying to get people to wax Z's balls. Yep. Yeah. Like, why do they specifically yeah. go so, like, just say all businesses. <laughs> well, they also mentioned shelters, right? right. So, so battered women's shelters now have to receive men now. Right. And yeah. going back to what Bill said, that's another safe space. It literally is sometimes the only safe place a lot of these women have is a battered woman's shelter. And now we're going to allow men in, which, which is more trauma. It's well, and shelters, and by the way, a lot of shelters are, are uh, run by churches. A lot right. of shelters yeah. are run by religious organizations. These right. aren't people, this is what's important to note. When we're talking, there's the letter of the law, there's the spirit of the law. People aren't creating 
battered women's shelters because they hate transgenders. They're trying mm. to do good. And then you ruin it by saying it's not good enough. Let's allow men there. Yeah. When people talk about that, let's uh, get an example for a church at uh, our church. They had a single, a single mom's night at our church. Oh. This is a big thing where single mothers right. would go drop off their kids at daycare. And I think they would do like yoga or spin class or sometimes they would have like a single, like a matchmaking night with the single men of the church. Oh. So it would be illegal for a church to say, oh, we're having a single mom's night here. By the way, you have to be allowed if you're a man. Yeah. Think about that for yeah. a second. Who does that? Is that really about equality? Well, I mean, this is how far down uh, we talk about slippery slope. Look behind you. There's yeah. the slope. Because at the bottom. another reason, transitioning kids. We've talked about this quite a bit, but a lot of people don't know that the Equality Act specifies that kids cannot be denied. People, including kids, cannot be denied health care based on being transgender. We've already seen parents lose custody of their children at a state level because they refuse to pump them full of hormones. Yeah. Now you apply this federally. Never mind that it's the right thing to do. We've talked, most people don't think you should allow kids to be put on puberty blockers. I think, if anything, child services should take those parents away if they start pumping a seven-year-old yep. boy full of mm -hmm. estrogen. Yep. But call me old-fashioned. And this is important to note, by the way, if the kids don't transition, we've talked about this many times, 75 to 90% of children with gender dysphoria, they completely outgrow it with therapy. They're put on puberty blockers, their percentage drops to zero. Suicide attempted rate is still 42%. The Equality Act will create a federal legal basis for parents to lose custody of their children for denying them health care if they don't go along with something that has, that has no basis in science. And we don't have any data yet because this is really, really new. Wow. We could be putting all of these kids into a shallow, cancerous grave. So when you talk about loving, when you talk about caring about people, listen, you're looking at a 42% suicide rate, you're looking at bone problems, you're looking at mood problems, you're looking at huge rates of depression and schizophrenia. Like, just telling someone that they're perfect the way they are is not compassion. If a kid wants to eat nothing but s'mores and, 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 and strawberry preserves, you tell him no because it's probably not healthy for him. Yeah. That's the case here. If a kid wants to be put on puberty blockers, you say no. Why? Because your bone plates haven't fused yet. But I don't want some lady in the white jacket to come in here and take you away from me, so here's your estrogen pills. There you go. Want some Cialis? All right. It's a treat <laughs> no, for everybody. I don't even know if they use Yeah, I assume the kids would want Cialis. So you can't block them anymore. Bathtub. So anyway, no, Taylor. The, the Equality <laughs> Act is not just basically we all deserve equal rights under the law. It's like the Green New Deal. It's a laundry list of leftist ideology that completely tries to criminalize any dissent. And just like the, the Green New Deal, by the way, the Green New Deal takes over pretty, I don't want to say a fifth of the economy, because that's when we were talking about health care. The Green New Deal takes over all of the right. economy. Mm -hmm. It basically nationalizes energy and, by all the way, power. also shoehorns in social and racial justice in the green. <laughs> You're like, why is this here? Why is this here? Black and you know, right there, precious innocent. Green isn't even in the song about Jesus loves me. <laughs> Are you me. sure? You Are have sure? no basis, not even a fictional one. So that basically takes over the entire economy nationally. And now a bill like this, the Equality Act, look it up yourself. Please go read it. Check out our sources. Look how loosely defined gender identity is. This would do for the social structure, the societal fabric of America, what the Green New Deal would do for the economy. This takes control over all of it. It removes your control as a parent. It removes your control as a business owner. It removes your control as an athlete. It removes your control as someone who wants to take a dump in peace without Jessica and Eve coming in, waxing his scrotum and taint. Oh, did you like this video? Subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. There were videos playing in boxes, but I was just enjoying my pipe. And this pipe was actually purchased through your support at Mug Club, because we don't make any money off of YouTube. LiderWithCutter.com slash Mug Club. Not only do you get access to the entire Blaze catalog, this wonderful hand-etched mug, but hours of content that you don't get to see or find or search here on YouTube. In other words, if you want the show to continue, you, you, you join Mug Club, and then I'll expand my pipe collection. <laughs>